It's, it's a day I'm never ever going to forget. Um, incredible for myself, but more importantly for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and the royal family and, and, and the team, you know, Godolphin, and uh, for being a homebred as well by new approach uh, and, a, and a, a damn line that we've had for, for generations now. So, uh, yeah, very special. For sure, it's, it's something I've. You know, everyone says, you know, what, do you, what, what do you want to achieve? What is your dream in your in, within your profession? And since I've, you know, been a trainer here at Multi for the last five years, that has always been my my goal is to try and uh, you know, get that Godolphin blue uh, across the line in the derby. As we know, if, you know, derby winners have been produced uh, before um, through Godolphin, but to have the blue colours uh, across the line was, was very special. We were a twenty to one shot, and and, and which which did surprise me. I, uh, but at the end of the day, I have I've never had a classic winner before, so I suppose that you know puts a little bit of a, puts a bit more onto the the points, as they say, on the on the price. But um, for me, I couldn't have been any happy with the horse. The way he, you know his, his preparation in respects is you know he was very impressive in the Craven. I felt he lost nothing in defeat there uh, in the Guineas, and, and you know the race divided into two sort of races and, and the main part of the race did come up the centre of the track that day. Um, but William also got off and the first thing he said, he said, Charlie felt like a 10 foot long horse against Milers there. And, and so immediately, as soon as he said that, it just sort of backed up what we were hoping to hear anyway. And with his pedigree, it sort of all fell into place that, you know, there was only one way we were going to go and that was to, to step straight up to the mile and a half. Exactly. We've got, we've got all plenty of options there. I mean, what would we be, I always like to work back from races and, and, and you know, the Arc or, or, or Champions Day there uh, are the two races that we'll be looking at to try and work back from one of them. Um, now, I'm a, always sort of you know, an old cliche of mine, I'll let the horse do the talking, but first and foremost, we'll just let the dust settle. Um, you know, the, the, the pattern book's there for us to be able to get to those races in, in a very nice manner. So, um, you know, whether he goes to the Irish Derby or whether we look at Eclipse, um, we've, yeah, we've still yet to, to, to finalise any sort of set route to get to where we feel we need to be at the end of the season. So yeah, I would be, to be honest. With you. I think he just he showed that he travelled very well. Um, you know, he's, he 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 showed it. He showed what what speed he has when, when he won the uh, when he won the Craven. Um, I know you're going you're to say, well, you know, when you stepped up to the mile, you know, when you ran in the Guineas, William said he felt like a he was a ten foot long horse there, but you know. He's got stronger, as that's what I say as well. From from the Guineas uh, to the Derby, he put on condition and, and started to fill out a bit more, which is what we were always waiting to see. Mentally, I felt that he was in a very good place, and he he had grown up so much in the last six months that um, you know it's just a matter of his physique starting to catch up with it, where his head was, as they say. It all starts from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. Uh, you know, he's he, he, his his vision and his positivity he instills into. To myself and the team here, um, you know, after yesterday or Saturday's success there, to see, like I say, to see them this morning coming into the yard and how much they, the, the buzz they're getting out of it, and, and to be part of all of this, it's 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 what we work for. And uh, so it's like any sporting event, you, you want success, and, and thankfully we've we've uh, yeah we've we reached out on Saturday.